Good morning, folks. Yesterday we issued an earthquake watch, and today we'll report an incredibly quick uptick in seismic events and volcano eruptions. We've also got cool news from the earth to the heavens and one of the more amazing lightning strikes you are ever going to see at the end, so stick around. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we can see that apart from the non-Earth-directed pop we saw at the opening in red, we did have a calm star. Solar flaring remains on the decline as the sunspots have now departed, leaving a disk without sunspots. The solar wind is calm as well. Intensification is expected, however, in the coming 48 hours, and then an even more intense stream should arrive before the weekend from the currently Earth-facing coronal holes. They are indeed what drove the earthquake watch along with longitudinal coupling and a solar wind sector boundary, our disaster prediction app scoring peaked yesterday, and the Earth wasted no time. Just a few hours after the earthquake watch was issued, a six-pointer struck the Chilean coastline. Across the Pacific, we took a slightly larger rumble in Papua New Guinea. A bit south of there, we had one a few hours earlier that nearly hit six range as well. But most of you know quake watches include volcanoes, and not only did Turrialba pop yesterday in Costa Rica, but so did Sakurajima in Japan just in the overnight hours. We'll take just a moment to appreciate the power and notice the electrical interactions amidst the erupting ash and smoke. Top news stories. Let's start with the Earth and go all the way up. This is Lake Ermia in Iran. The heat has triggered a microbial bloom that set the waters as blood. Analysis done by NASA's Earth Observatory. Heading up to the solar system scale, well, yet another new sphere has been discovered in our outer reach. Lots of talk of Planet Nine these days. And jumping out even further, as if the galactic rotation problem wasn't a major issue for galaxy-scale physics, how about our massive gas halo spinning in the same direction at the same speed? Only electricity could shatter gravity's rules like that. Rough weather in the U.S. as well. That's not even the best lightning we'll see. Rain and flash floods were the widespread issue, but some of the isolated events, short-lived though they may be, were the kind of thing you're unlikely to forget. Ari over at the Weather Channel was geeking out on this one overnight. Let's watch it one more time. It is the birthday week for our website, suspiciousobservers.org. Membership is just 4 bucks a month or 30 for the whole year, and that's how we bring you these morning news and all the other websites free of charge every day. We've got the weather maps for the coming day across the world, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.25 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Oh, <laughs>